going on guys? So got a new update for you guys today. So experiments have recently come out and they've been fixed. So what experiments are is basically these monsters. Let me show you what their drop table looks like. That's probably the best way to to show them off. Oh, there it is, yeah. Uh, so these paper scraps right here, this is the thing that you are collecting. So what you do is you kill these, and you can see they have some pretty decent drops, some good cash drops and whatnot, and you collect a hundred of these pieces of paper. You can combine them and then make yourself a random schematic. So when you combine them, it gives you a random schematic. Now with the schematic, you can just keep it if you like it, or you can alk it, because if you alk any of these schematics, you actually get 50% of your money back. So for example, if you alk a ring of fortune, you'd get a uh, hundred mil. So this is actually a pretty decent way to make money, and what we're going to do in this video is find out if it's worth it. Alright, so talk to this dude over here, and he will tell you how to make it. Basically just 35,000 generic components and a molten glass. Uh, you can purchase the molten glass from Joe's shop over here, uh, it's just a thousand coins. And then you can buy, gen or you can get generic components from Berserker Helms, that's the best way to do it. And you actually do get um, invention experience for making this, so it could actually be a decent way to train. I didn't really design it that way, but it is possible. So let's, uh, I can't remember how many it gives. 2,500, so it's probably not the best, but it's good for the starting levels, and generic components are really easy to get. You can basically just buy them. So we got the spear. I believe I'm on an older client, so everything will have better different names, but it's all the same. You got a couple people doing here. I added a ton just because I was I was thinking this would be a, a pretty good update. At least it was designed that way. So we'll see we'll see what happens when we find a good spot. I guess right here is perfect. So let me get a stopwatch and we will track and see how long it takes to get. All right, so I'm floating around 21 minutes and we're only at seven scraps. Now the good thing is there's a actually a few people here doing this as well, and I can see what kind of jobs they're getting. And uh, it seems like they're getting luckier than I am. I think I'm pretty unlucky. Um, we're um, sort of figuring out what we should do to improve this. I'm thinking adding it to the uncommon table as well, because that'll increase your chances of getting it even more. Um, I think upping the, like as you can see, all these components are from the smaller items, like Mr. Grobe Top and whatnot. I feel like making them noted and then having people do it later might be the better call. Um, you can't do noted items, and that's for a reason I'm not going to get into in this video, but... It doesn't seem like it's really worth it to keep grinding them. I'm going to, just because I want to get an accurate number of how many you would get. But I think in the I think one thing we can do to improve this this area even more is making them noted. Uh, as you see that four casket drop. I did up caskets. I don't know if anybody knows that. I never really talked about it in an update. Uh, before you used to get like 150k max. Now you can you can get in like oh. two mil and whatnot. So they're a lot better. Um, that's where this 5.6 mil came from. Nice. There's a two scraps right there. Whenever you get the rare drop, it is two. So, uh, yeah, 23 minutes in, 9 scraps. So, realistically, you're looking at about 200 minutes or so. And that's depending on your luck, of course. Some people get more luck. More lucky than I'm... That's one weird glitch I've noticed. If you don't have the inventory space, it doesn't, like... It doesn't make them separate items. It, like, makes them, like, one item. Which is interesting. I've never noticed that before. But, uh, yeah, just giving you my... A quick update, and we'll keep going. Alright, guys, so there we go. 100 scraps. Uh, let's take a look at everything else. So we got 58 mil cash, and that is from these caskets and whatnot. I did loot most of the items for, uh, I guess you probably should loot that too, four components. 185k generic, 378k uh, um, spiritual, 34k corrupt, and then only the 5k organic. I don't really, uh, I didn't really do many torsos just because it gets tedious. Uh, 40k death runes, 450 magic logs, 12 kiss keys, uh, did I say, <laughs> I said that weird. Uh, 136 summer pies. I also got some clue scrolls. Let me go to the bank real quick and I'll show you those. Look at that. Oh, that's Marco. Nice. Nice gear, Marco. Um, 17. So, yeah. Not bad at all. Uh, this took... 14. No, no. No, I, I actually left that, uh, overnight. So, uh, Yeah. Like before, I like before I got off the computer, I, I never turned it off. So, um, if you do the math, there two and a half hours, and then when I did when I logged in, thirty minutes. So, all in all, it took about three hours and fifteen minutes, give or take. Um, so, there's a couple things I want to mention. Uh, this whole video is worth it, so we're trying to figure out if it's worth it at the moment. I don't know if that's worth it. We'll see what we get from this, and then maybe you can, you know, we can decide together. But um, I'm thinking that it would, they could probably do a, with a buff. If you look at their table, uh, no, that's not the right one. 
um, they have it on their common table and then their uncommon table, or they are on the un only uncommon and rare. I think adding it to the uncommon table, which will make it more common, <laughs> uh, will help. I think maybe improving a couple of these other drops as well. Um, but it's really not that bad. I think it was worth it. We'll see. Oh, that sucks. If it doesn't yell, it's not good. All of that for fucking Enchanted Soul. Rip. See, that's where it, like, that's, it's a gamble. It, it's an equal rate. You have an equal chance of getting anything from it. Um, the same chance of getting a Garden Pie, you can get an Imbued Heart. Uh, that one, I believe, yeah, 50 mil. Ugh. Ugh. But, uh, so three hours, we made 33 mil an hour. Yeah. Obviously, you could do better if you get the imbued eye. I believe that's the most expensive one at 175 mil or something along those lines. But, uh, yeah. Is it worth it? Um, it can be if you got luck. And I, like I said, I do, I do want to do a little bit of improvements. I don't think it's perfect yet. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, you know what? I should probably open up the crystal keys. Nah, fuck it. You can use crystal keys. You're fine.